should you build a PC now or should you wait? I know that's what YouTubers say all the time, but really, let's be fair here. There's been so many things happening during the last several years. It feels like we're just getting pummeled with release after release of like hardware that is a must buy. Who didn't want to buy like an RTX 3070 or a 3080 when it came out? Could you? Not really, unless you paid a scalper and we know how that went, so that kind of sucked. But now there's a pretty big change to the GPU landscape. Yes, stuff still is coming out that you want to buy, but are you willing to pay the prices? And if you wait a little bit, are you actually going to save a lot of money? All right, GPU prices, there's no like objective way to say it. Maybe you can just take this, like trust my word, bro. I just feel GPU prices are about to get discounted. I mean, we talked about Best Buy at least reducing the prices of those old founder editions, which don't really mean anything, but it's something to see those low prices, right? Why would they even touch it? So other GPUs have been getting discounts, like the 7900 XT has been coming down in price. We've seen it almost like $100 less in some cases, closer to the MSRP of the 4070 Ti. The 4080, the really expensive models are getting discounted. The 4090 is not really getting discounted, but at least it's in stock now, so that's a big change. And of course, one of the most hilarious PC building things that I've seen is like Micro Center selling something like a 7900X for less money than the 7900 and including 32 gigabytes of RAM. That's like ridiculous. You're paying less money and you're getting more stuff for a better processor. That shows you how wonky the pricing is now. That's really AMD's fault. They shouldn't have released so many CPUs in the market. And I know they have the X3D coming and enthusiasts, of course, are going to be excited about that. But should you buy it? I mean, they're going to be priced in the premium category. They're going to be like $800 for the 7950. The X. All of the other ones are pretty expensive compared to the crazy good deals you can get on a regular 7950X with like free RAM. Or even if you're not near a micro center, even Amazon had those discounts that you're not getting RAM, but you're getting the cheaper pricing. So you can see where it's a confusing time to build a PC. So should you or should you not? Well, first, I wouldn't touch any of the GPUs that are most likely to start seeing some price cuts. The 4080 hasn't been selling for a reason. I think it's going to be one of the first ones to really get a price cut. 4070 Ti may see it as well, as well as the 7900 XT. How about everything else? I mean, RTX 3000 has stayed kind of expensive, aside from these recent price cuts that haven't done too much. Even though inventory has been kind of selling, it's hard to find like 3080s and 3090s new if you even want that. You kind of have to go on the used market, you definitely just have to look at secondhand deals for anything older than current generation. I know some people don't like doing it because maybe they don't have a warranty or we don't know how the GPU was treated, but unless you want to pay top dollar, that's going to be one of the best bets. In that case, if you want a bargain with people getting rid of their stuff, then it is a great time to build a PC. If you're not worried about the bleeding edge like the X3D processors, it's a great time to build a PC. You can get a 7900X or, you know, 7 7700X or even an Intel 13th generation processor, probably for a nice little discount and the motherboards are coming down in price as well. That was one of the big problems with AM5 was really expensive motherboards. So DDR5 RAM is also cheaper. You see these elements add up together to make it kind of a good time to build a PC. You just have to watch out for primarily the GPU. And obviously, if you know you, you want the fastest CPU, you do have to wait until X3D releases, which should be very soon. But aside from that, it's probably better to get a good deal on what's existing now. And then keep an eye out on the GPU that you want. If you know you want the highest end, get a 4090. And if that's what your budget allows, fantastic. If you're somewhere in the middle, like most people, you may want to sort of wait a little bit or at least get a GPU that you know won't get too many heavy discounts. Maybe if you can find a 7900 XTX, the faster one, for around $999. It does exist. Once in a while it pops up. That's going to be your better long-term bet. It's going to have better performance and the resale value is probably going to stay high because it's the fastest GPU. Not likely to go down anytime soon. Of course, you could look at AMD's you know, 6000 series. They've been 
discounted recently, you may be able to find something like a 6900 XT for under $600, and that's still a really good deal. Don't think just because it's last generation, like a 6900 or a 3080 or a 3090, that it's absolutely useless. You can still get a lot of bang for buck for these GPUs. So unless you're looking at the bleeding edge and ultra high end, I would say now is a decent time to build a PC. Not many people are doing it. That's why we're seeing some discounts and prices come down. Sure, you can wait a little more, but then not only will prices come down, but you're going to have new hardware that's going to entice you to you know jump into it. And then that cycle will start if you should wait a little bit longer. So it's better to enjoy it now. And it's not a terrible time now. You do have stock and inventory for a lot of these parts, as well as a lot of the updates have been done already the new releases have come out and and aside from a few gpus like the 4060 and 4070 there really isn't going to be too much coming out and from the you know the few processors that should also be releasing so i would say go ahead build the pc make sure you don't buy something that's overpriced so you don't lose out as the prices go down but otherwise it should be business as usual and i think it's a little better now than it's been maybe during the last year to build a pc let me know down below what you guys plan on doing remember to subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next video